the evil and hollows. Chapter 1 Jessica Dear Diary, I don't know who I am. I think sometimes I'm crazy when I am in church. People talk about their souls. I feel like I don't have a soul. Sometimes I do not care about having a soul. But sometimes I think, I am the worst person in the world. Do not feel my soul. And I am crazy, I do not tell anyone. What I think, what I really feel. They wouldn't understand. Or want to, to everyone, I am just a good girl. Who is the smartest girl? In this very small town named Smalls. I never been anywhere but here. But that will change soon. Because I'm going to college on a four-year scholarship. I am going today. To a college in a big city called Hollows. Jessica, Jessica, are you up? Jessica yelled yes mom. Her mom opened the door. She could see Jessica's suitcases were already packed. I see you are ready. Said mom. Jessica had brown hair and brown eyes. She was very beautiful inside and out. But not a Hollywood beauty but a girl next door beautiful, and a very sweet person and good person. Jessica and her mom put Jessica's two big suitcases in the back of the car. That had some of Jessica's clothes. And some of her snack foods. And the things that she needed for college. Mom was driving and talking to Jessica. Mom said you are moving so far away from home. I will miss you so very much. Jessica's mom had the window all the way rolled down. And was talking with her hands. You are the first one in this whole family to ever go to college. She looked at Jessica. Jessica was looking at her small town out of the window. All there was dry dirt and nothing but the color of very dry red. It looked like a scene from a movie that was shot in a desert. Her mom was still looking at her. And then mom said wow and on a scholarship, too well. She smiled at Jessica. Jessica looked back at her mom with a small grin. Mom went to a drive through restaurant to get some breakfast. They got some food then they went back on the road. In four hours, Jessica arrived in the big city of Hollows. She looked out of the car window. She thought this city is a very old, beautiful city and it looked gothic, like it belongs in France. There was a sign where Jessica's mom drove by. The sign said Hollows College. They drove through a very big black opened gate. There was a lot of people around the college. Jessica and her mom got out the two big suitcases that had Jessica's stuff in them. Jessica was rolling one of the suitcases behind her. And her mom was rolling the other. They were walking to find Jessica's dorm room. Jessica had a piece of paper in her hand. It said Block A. So. Jessica and her mom walked to block A. They got to a door. Jessica said, I think this one is it. Mom looked at the number. And looked down at the paper and said yes this is it. Mom took out a key. And tried to unlock it, but it was already unlocked. Mom opened the door. A girl was there sitting on a bed. They said hi, the girl didn't say anything. They unpacked Jessica's suitcases, and put her stuff away and into the empty dress drawers. Mom said, do you have the money that I gave to you? Just in case you need it. Jessica said yes mom. Then she took out some money from her jeans pocket. Mom said are you going to be okay here? Yes. Yes mom I will be okay here. Okay. Then Jessica gave her mom a big smile. Then her mom looked sad. Then she said well it's time for me to go. She hugged Jessica and said goodbye. Then she said, oh and Jessica call me soon. Jessica said yes and call me when you get home mom. So, I can know that you got home safe I will Jessica, and she hugged her again and left. It was almost night when her and her mom got there. Jessica went to bed she tossed and turned in bed. She was dreaming of a demon. The demon had her cornered and she was in a dark hole she didn't know how she got there, but there was no light she could only see the demon and everywhere else was black. The demon wanted her, but not to kill her. The demon wanted her to go with him. She was shaking in her sleep. The demon was very ugly, and it had red eyes. She said to the ugly demon, No, no, get out of here. The demon had wings. His wings looked like angel wings. But the wings had black edges and looked torn. He looked half man and half demon. She was shouting at him. 
get, get, out of here, then his wings went up and he disappeared. She woke up, do you always do that? When you sleep. Her roommate was in the bed next to hers. Her roommate was looking at her, with a look like she killed someone. Jessica had her books in her arms. She was walking to her first class. On her first day of school, Jessica looked inside the classroom. Every seat was taken. There was only one seat left. Jessica thought to herself, Wow! Wow! I have never seen so many people in one room before. She started walking to the seat. When she accidentally slipped and fell, everyone laughed at her right away. She felt like crying from pure embarrassment. But she didn't, she felt their eyes on her. She slowly got up and went to the seat as she sat down, she still felt like crying. But she couldn't cry in front of so many people. The teacher yelled everyone shut up. And then everyone stopped laughing, after a very hard day. Jessica went right across the street to the cafe. The coffee place was right across the street from the school. So, every student went there because it was so close. The students came for coffee and teas and other sweets. Jessica sat down in one of the chairs at one of the small tables. That only sat two people. She ordered a hot chocolate from the waiter. Jessica never ordered from a waiter before. And there were only three places to eat it. In her small town smalls, McDonald's and Subway and Burger King, Jessica has only seen waiters in movies. Jessica thought of the day. You look like you had a hard day. Jessica looked to her left. She saw a very cute man. He looked 30 years old or 28. Oh, it's nothing, just I just moved here. He said that can be hard. Why did you move here? Oh, to go to college, he asks. Then he walked up to her. From the other small table. He said may I sit here. Jessica smiled she was very shy. She said sure. He said thank you. Jessica asked. Do you work at the college? No. I just like the coffee here. Jessica shyly looked into his bluey greenly eyes. She felt her heart beat very hard. Her neck hurt from looking into his eyes. Jessica never felt like this about a guy before. He was looking back into her brown shy innocent eyes. Then he looked at his watch and said with big eyes. Then he said oh. Look at the time. I am sorry. I must go I will see you sometime later. He started to walk away. Then he walked back to her. Oh, I didn't get your name? She said with a shy voice my name is Jessica. Oh, nice to meet you, Jessica. He smiled at her then he gave her his hand. Then he said my name is Damon. She shakes his hand and then her hand starts trembling. Then her whole body started trembling. By his hand touching hers. Then he let go of her hand. And walked away, she thought his hand touch mine. He is so hot, Jessica said under her breath. I can't wait to see him again. After Jessica finished her hot chocolate, Jessica walked all the way back to her room with the biggest smile on her face. She was sitting on her bed, with her baby blue covers and she was half underneath them doing her homework. Then she went to sleep. Her roommate was not there. She was out underage clubbing. Jessica's roommate was only 19. Later that night Jessica was asleep and dreaming. Jessica was at a door a woman was there. She said don't open that door. Jessica's hand was on the doorknob. Jessica said with a confused look. Why? The woman said he's in there. The woman was old and gray. And she had a strange look on her old and white face. She looked scared for Jessica. Jessica said, who is in there? The woman yelled don't open the door. He's in there he wants you. Why? Why does he want me? What does he want me for? The woman did not answer her she walked away. Jessica woke up in a sweat. Jessica sat up and reached over to the nightstand while being still on her bed and underneath her covers. She took out her blue diary. She wrote, I don't like this school. I feel like I don't belong here. I feel I will never belong anywhere. I don't even belong at home. But at least people at home like me. But on the good side, I met the hottest boy I ever saw. But he is not a boy at all. He is a man and I like that. 
I can't wait to see him again and I've been having a very scary and strange dreams I don't know why I'm having this dream. She put her diary down and went to the bathroom to get ready for the day. When her last class was over, she went to the cafe to look for Damon, but he was not there. So, she had a hot chocolate and got out her books from her blue backpack to do her homework there. Three days later and he still did not come. She looked for him in those three days. So, for three days she just did her homework at the cafe hoping he would show. Jessica still was having nightmares. And she still hasn't made any friends. Jessica was in her room. She put a bowl of quickly made noodles in the dorm room's microwave. You are strange Jessica. Jessica's roommate said to her. Jessica said no I am not. Yes, you are. You yell in your sleep. It wakes me up. Well if you went to bed earlier and not underage clubbing until 3 in the morning. You would get enough sleep. Her roommate didn't know what to say next. So she put her earphones in her ear and laid down. Jessica was very proud that she stood up for herself. Jessica was by the microwave. The microwave was on a countertop. And two of the cabinets was above the countertop that was nailed on the wall. One of the cabinets was Jessica's. And the other one was her roommate's. Jessica got the noodles out of the microwave. Then Jessica opened her cabinet. To get one of her sodas. She saw two of them gone. She was mad she turned to her roommate. She said hey. Did you take my soda? Her roommate said my name is not hey it is Eva. And I didn't take your soda. Yeah. Then why is there two missing then? Jessica said meanly I don't know maybe you drunk them. Then Eva got up and left the room by slamming the door behind her. The next day, Jessica went to her art class. The art class was her favorite class. And the last class of the day. She went to her seat and sat down. Her teacher was already there. She liked Mr. Good. Mr. Good was kind and more layback. Then the other teachers. He had long curly blonde hair. His hair went past his ears. But not past his shoulders, he had baby blue eyes. And was very good looking, and he always wore dress pants, and a dress shirt and foot flops, he looked like a surfer turned teacher. Many girl students had a crush on him. But not Jessica she just liked him as a teacher, and according to Jessica no teacher was sexy. So, what about those Yankees? Said Mr. Good with a smile, he had a little ball in his hand. And was playing with it, a student yelled out. Yankees suck. Hey, I like the Yankees another student said. Mr. Good said well let's get started. It's still summer weather. The trees are still green. Then he held up a hand and waved it in the air. With a big smile and said so let's go outside and draw them. Come everybody and gather your stuff and let's go. And draw those trees. Everyone got their things and followed Mr. Good outside. They walked to a man-made lake. The lake had trees all around it. It was beautiful. Mr. Good said this looks like a good spot. Jessica was drawing a tree. The tree had big green leaves. It was a big beautiful tree. Jessica liked drawing outside. She liked the fresh air. Jessica had been so stressed out lately. Because she hasn't been making any friends. And she was feeling so alone in this big city. Hollows wasn't all that big. There were 10,000 that lived in Hollows. But to Jessica, it looked like the biggest city in the world. Jessica grew up in a small town. The town was a desert. Turned into a very small town, Jessica was enjoying the summer breeze and it felt nice. Mr. Good went over to her. So how are things going here? The sketch looks like it's coming along. Mr. Good said, then Mr. Good sat down beside Jessica. Jessica was sitting down in front of a big tree. Mr. Good smiled at Jessica. She smiled back. He said when I first came here, I didn't make any friends either. I was different than the other teachers. And a lot younger than them. 
they didn't like me right away. I know what it is like to be lonely. Then he put his hand on Jessica's shoulder and smiled and said if you need to talk just come to my classroom, I am always there then he laughed a little like it was an inside joke yeah, I am always here. Okay. Then he moved his hand off Jessica's shoulder and then down her back. Jessica smiled and said thank you. With a little sadness in her eyes. Then the bell rang and right away everyone left. Jessica went to the cafe right away, she went across the street. Then she saw Damon finally. Things are looking up chapter 2. She was very happy to see Damon. He was sitting at a table drinking coffee and eating a donut at the cafe across the street from the college. Jessica walked up to him she said with a big smile hi Damon. He was surprised he didn't see Jessica right behind him. He looked up at Jessica. He said hi Jessica with a smile. What have you been? 